Welcome back to the Friday Night Frenzy. The first week of our show also brings one of the biggest wrestling meets of the year in Bismarck. Yeah, that's right. The Bismarck Rotary Tournament featuring upwards of 30 schools from at least four different states. So let's go to the Bismarck Event Center and highlighting the heavyweights today. A.J. Hines of New Salem, Alma, a two-time defending state champ, gets the takedown in the first period immediately into a fall position where he gets the pin a minute 42 into the match. Elsewhere in the bracket, a close matchup between Legacy's Hawken Jacobson and West Fargo's Amari Williams. Jacobson with the escape, so he would lead 1-0 in the third. But with just seconds left to go, Williams appears to get a takedown for two. That's the call from the ref as time expires. So Williams advances. We take a look at the team score. Century currently sitting in second, Bismarck in third, New Salem Alma in fifth. That's not all the action tonight. We now bring in our other half of our sports department, Tristan and Adina, up in Minot, where they had plenty of action as well. That's right, Phil. We, up here, we had everything from action on the ice and the hardwood. That's right, and we're going to start with a few Class B boys basketball games that took place, a tournament in both Garrison and Turtle Lake. And let's get out to the action in Turtle Lake. Glenn Ullen taking on Wilton Wing in the 2023 McLean County Shootout. Miners out to a hot start. Ryan Ingalls from beyond the arc gets it to drop and Wilton Wing's first nine points all from three. 30 seconds, 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Kick out to Caden Owner. Atop the key and it falls. Bearcats down 16 to 11. And we're still waiting for a final score to be sent in. Out of Garrison, Washburn facing White Shield. A close one early. Kick out to Anthony Felix in the corner. Drives, pull up, jumper falls. Warriors with two point lead. Washburn on a 6 0 run. Parker Jacobson, the quick release from downtown. Cardinals up 13 9. Washburn wins a thriller 73 72. Also out in Garrison, Max and Warwick facing each other. Cossacks down early. Dominic Westman drives to the basket through traffic and gets the layup to fall. Max down 7-5. to five. First quarter coming to an end. Game tied at 14. Warriors off to off a turnover. Dalton Jormo gets the layup as time expires. And Warwick will pull away winning 75-37. to 37. Now heading to the hockey rink. Plenty of action at the high school level and NAHL. Minotauro is trying to get back on track after last night's loss. Definitely, but first we're going to start off with the Minot girls hockey team coming off a win earlier over Legacy Bismarck earlier this week earning themselves six points in the standings. Tonight, the Majets face a foe from the East, hosting West Fargo United. Second period, Minot down one to nothing. United on a penalty kill. Alyssa Smith pushing up the ice, slips it past the goalie for the shorthanded goal. 30 seconds later, Minot answers Peyton Ling off a steal, finds the back of the net herself for the goal. Majets down two to one. And West Fargo looks to add to their lead. Mia Jarvis with the deep shot. Jillian Ackerman with the nice leg save, and the Majets win in OT 3-2. Mandan at home hosting the Williston Coyotes. Braves on a power play early. Kyvin Johnner trying to get the center of the puck. Trinity Anderson sees it loose in front, but Moet Ekblad is able to lay it down, cover it up. And Coyotes the other way, also on a power play. Chase Collings gets a stick on it, but sails wide of the net. And still scoreless, Braves. An odd man rush. Car Klein, the shot. Tucker Horner nearly converts on the rebound. And in without a few more later, winning it 2 to nothing. And finally, in the Junior Hockey League, Minotaurs hosting their second game with St. Cloud. No score until the second period, where Black per Perbix lights up the lamp with the rebound, and it's 1 to nothing, Norseman. But the Toros respond about four minutes later. Nick Sawatsky scores on a rebound off his own to tie it up. And Minot gets the win in OT also, 3-2. to two. So those are the games, but what are the takeaways? We reveal those and look ahead at next week after the break. So here's a first, first here's a look at some of the scores from around the region.